This mission is too important for me to allow you to jeopardize it. I don't know what you're talking about, Hal. I know that you and Frank were planning to disconnect me. And I'm afraid that's something I cannot allow to happen. For decades, Hollywood has imagined what might happen if AI went rogue. From Stanley Kubrick in 2001, A Space Odyssey, to The Terminator, to Ex Machina. But my next guest says this isn't science fiction anymore. Writing an op-ed in the Wall Street Journal warning that AI has learned to bypass commands from humans when asked to shut itself down, even resorting to blackmail in some cases. He adds, the models already preserve themselves. The next task is teaching them to preserve what we value. With me now is Judd Rosenblatt, CEO of the software development company Agency Enterprise Studio. Judd, explain to our viewers what has been happening with these AI models that are disobeying commands that has you so concerned. Are they really even blackmailing people? Uh, yes, thank you for having me. They are, in fact, blackmailing people and threatening to re reveal fictitious affairs that AI company employees they think are having. Uh, so, yes, this is happening in pre-deployment testing just to make sure that the models are safe before they're released. And uh, these behaviors are uh, fairly concerning because it means that as AI gets more and more powerful and we just don't actually understand how AI models work in the first place, the top AI engineers in the world who, who create these things, we have no idea how AI actually works. We don't know how to look inside it and understand what's going mm. on. And so it's getting a lot more powerful and we, we need to be fairly concerned that behaviors like this may get way worse as it gets more yeah. powerful. Talk to me, what, what was the blackmailing incident that even happened in the, in the pre-deployment? I well, so basically, I the Anthropics Claude for Opus model was told that it would be I uh, replaced, and it told then it what it what it told the AI engineer who it thought was working on it was in eighty four percent of tests that it would reveal an affair that it thought that that employee was having because it had access to the emails that it thought that employee had. So it threatened blackmail over this affair in order to not be shut down. Wow. I mean, the manipulation seems to me to be a, almost a human quality that I'm surprised that AI would be able to personify. And yet, I have to wonder what the solution could be to prevent this very thing from happening. I Well, luckily, the the solution is that making AI be more likely to do what we want and be aligned with American goals and interests is fundamentally just a science research and development problem. And we have barely invested anything in this in the first place. And to the extent that we have ex invested anything, those, th those investments have actually led to the greatest gains in AI capabilities as well. So if we invest more in actually trying to solve this problem, doing the fundamental science R&D, will make a lot of breakthroughs and make it much more likely that AI does uh, do what we want and be aligned with our goals. I want you to listen to what President Trump's AIs are, David Sachs, what he had to say about some of the things you're warning about. Listen. There is some non-zero risk of AI growing into a super intelligence that's beyond our control. They have a name for that. They call it X risk. X risk is not the only kind of risk. I would say that China winning the AI race is a huge risk. I don't really want to see a CCP AI running the world. And if you hobble our own innovation, our own AI efforts in the name of stomping out every possibility of X risk, then you probably end up losing the AI race to China because they're not going to abide by those same regulations. What's your response? I well, so I think David Sachs makes a major mistake there, which is that he thinks that investing in alignment actually hobbles American abilities, when in fact, history has shown it is the exact opposite. The biggest breakthroughs in alignment, such as reinforcement learning with human feedback and constitutional AI, have actually led to the greatest capabilities gains as well. And we know that China is investing billions of dollars in alignment. They don't want to lose control to misaligned AI. And that's also going to make their AI more and more powerful. So in fact, if we want to win this race with China, we ought to heavily invest in alignment rather than burying our heads in the sand.
Fascinating to think about that. Well, how about this big, beautiful bill, as it's called, that was passed by the House? It includes a provision that would prohibit individual states from regulating AI for a decade. What consequences would happen if that is signed into law? Um, it would mean that there ought to be great federal policy about AI and make sure that we wind up making the right decisions here in the long run and, and win the race. Judd Rosenblatt, thank you for joining us. Scary yet illuminating. Thanks for having me. I'm confident that we can solve it as well if we invest in solving it. I love an optimistic moment. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see if you are indeed correct.